Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up your avatar so it has a basic eye look, blinking and uh, mouth movements with uh, blend shapes. So first, we, first thing we need to do, we need to make sure we have our avatar here and we have the VRC avatar descriptor. If you don't have it, you add component and you type in VRC avatar and there you go, you just click it and add it. And um, for lip sync, which means basically mouth movement, you can click the auto detect and it usually picks up the right mesh that has these visemes. Sometimes the slots are not correct, so you click them and you find the correct uh, visemi. And if one of them or two of them are missing, I usually just put in like, you know, ones that, that's already there to kind of like, you know, compensate for the mistake, I guess, when somebody made the mesh or they didn't make it for VR chat fully. And if it doesn't find anything, you can manually click Visemi blend shape and then find uh, which one of your face, uh, I don't know, meshes actually has the blend shape. And it's funny because it, it uh, thought that my glasses have these blend shapes, which is not true. It should be body 002, which is the actual body. I can test it by sliding these blend shapes. So I'm gonna show you how I can drag and put it in. And that's it, that's how it's done. So next we're gonna do the eye look, which takes a bit of effort. Uh, you enable it. And for, eye, uh, for eyelids, eyelid type, this is where you set up your blinking. So you do blend shapes and you do the same thing with the same mesh, put it in. And you change this to uh, blink, which we have somewhere, there we go, blink. Looking up, looking down, I'm going to do it different way. So I'm going to put none. And if you click preview, you can test if your you know, character is actually blinking, which he is. So that's nice. And for the eye movement, you can change these as much as you want. I don't really change them usually, but you can do that. And I'm going to find left and right eye bones so I can set up um, the directions of the avatar looking like these directions. So I'm going to my armature and I'm going to navigate towards the eye, eye bones. It should be, oh, there we go. There's a left eye and a right eye. This should be it. So I'm going to click and drag. Now I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit so I know I see what I can do, what I'm doing clearly. Looking straight, I just you know, set the same way. Let us see and test. Looking up for 20 here. And that's actually looking down, so it needs to be minus 20. But you can see how we're actually uh, using the correct bones. And you can, you know, test with like all the values you want really. You can go really crazy, but I'm gonna just like go normal. Uh, here I'm gonna try 20. And for left, let's see 20. Uh, it's actually to the right though, so I'm gonna do minus 20. You don't <laughs> remember that, um, you know, it says left, but from my point of view, it look, it's right, but on the, you know, avatar's perspective, it's left here. So you'd have to take that into account. I'm gonna do 20 right, and there we go. And the avatar is gonna, you know, look all these directions on its own. It's gonna also blink on its own. And it's also going to, you know, open and close its mouth when it speaks. I'm also going to show you how to set up the viewpoint, which is basically where your eyes are when you're in, uh, you know, on desktop or in VR. Which is a signal, it's shown by this little gray ball up here. And if you don't see this, uh, you need to enable Gizmos, which is a button here. It should be blue like this, so we can see the gizmo. And uh, you, you change this here basically. And you want it in between your eyes, a bit inside of the head, as far as I can understand. So why is like the height? So I'm gonna change it to 0. Point, uh, let's see, 0. 0.5 is too much, 0. 0.3, 0. 0.25, we're gonna adjust. And also you can see my glasses disappearing, which is a bounding box issue which I also have a video about, look it up on my channel. And this is basically like a little bit of a fine tuning, I guess. Yeah, it's about right. And this one is actually back and forth. 
So I'm gonna change it to 0 0.1, that's too much. 0.87. Where did it go? Oh, there we go. Okay, put it a bit more up. Uh, yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah, that's probably right. And I'm gonna put it a bit more inside. Yeah, it depends really, everybody has a different preference for this, but um, for me, I think this is good enough. And just, you know, click it like that and uh, that's it. That's how you change your uh, viewport, uh, well, viewpoint height and position. So thank you for watching, like and subscribe, um, send this to your friends who might like this video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next video.